In the midst of darkness, there is always some form of light, right? If we only perch our eyes to see it. And it's that beautiful light that can give us the wings to fly. One local organization is doing just that, taking their experience of such deep loss and tragedy, but transforming it, paying it forward while giving others some hope during this unprecedented holiday season. That's what people do, isn't it? That's right. It's the beautiful part of our humanity. <laughs> and Amy Pathrap joins us from Silver Lake with more on Megan's Wings. Good morning. Good Amy. morning. Good morning to you too. Yes, this year some are dealing with tragic losses due to COVID-19, but Kim Savage understands what it's like to lose a child to cancer. Her own daughter, Megan, died of leukemia at just nine years old. In 2005, she founded Megan's Wings in memory of her little girl. Through the organization, she's found strength and purpose in helping others get through the same tough times her own family endured. Now she's got an army of elves helping to lift the spirits of some truly special families. There's holiday magic everywhere, and there's usually an elf behind the scenes making it all possible. It's not every day you see Santa and a dinosaur crossing the street with a Christmas tree, yet today in Reseda, Santa's little helper, Jessica Heredia, summoned this unlikely duo to help her deliver holiday gifts to some special families. Jessica is a board member of the cancer charity, Megan's Wings. What I love about this organization is even though they're going through such a challenging time, there's so many beautiful gifts that of creating community and love and support to each other. Megan's Wings was not gonna be stopped this year by COVID and we were able to get Santa in the car to come and deliver and make sure that everyone gets the love and support that they need during this time. Megan's Wings is an organization that fulfills the requests of families of kids undergoing cancer treatment. Jessica's aunt was involved with the charity and when she told her the most common thing families ask for, Jessica was inspired to action. The number one request we receive is assistance with funeral expenses. And that just broke my heart. I just can't even imagine one having or knowing that your child is going through cancer and then two not having enough funds to have a proper funeral. I then asked her what is the number two request and she said assistance with temporary housing while they're receiving treatment. Jessica saw that as an opportunity to use her 20 years of real estate experience to help families in a different way. I developed a housing program uh, for Megan's Wings, uh, working with homeowners who have properties that are non-occupied that participate in programs like Airbnb. The vacancy rate is typically anywhere from 45%. So if your home is vacant and you'd like to donate to a family in need, you'll get a tax write-off in the amount of what you would have received had you rented it out like the Meta family who have been displaced due to a family member at home with COVID. Megan's Wings did not provide this house, but they did brighten the spirits of two-year-old leukemia patient Kabir, seeing him smile and roar <laughs> is why Jessica volunteers her time. It's an honor. I mean, you can't explain what it is to watch a two-year-old child with cancer opening gifts and being able to celebrate with their family. And the unfortunate thing is a lot of times this is the last Christmas that they'll spend together. So it makes everything special and it, it makes me want to make everything extra special for them. Um, so yeah, it, it's a gift. Giving always benefits the giver as much as the receiver. The Meta family was just one of the families Megan's Wings supported this year. They served 55 families all over Los Angeles, bringing them holiday gifts food and plenty of smiles. And it's not just during the holidays they're giving, are they? They do it all year round. That's right, Giselle. They help families pay bills, provide temporary housing, and even fund cancer research programs through their fundraising efforts. If you'd like to learn more, volunteer, make a donation, or if you happen to have a rental property that you want to put up for good use, find out more at meganswings.org. Oh, you're the thank best, you, Amy. Amy. As always, mm -hmm. thank you so Bye. much. Yeah. People paying it forward. No matter what they go through, they come back and pay it forward. Yeah, it's beautiful. a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing.